Hey everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to mod your gamer tag for Call of Duty 4, 5, and 6. This video is strictly for embedding on the website ultratransfers.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, if you already have not, please check out their website. It's really cool, it has some modding and JTagging information, and just guess, you know, Shoutbox. Just really cool, check it out. Alright, the first thing that you're going to, well, all the programs that you're going to want is Export 360, something called EZGT, and Modio. I'll put all the links in this uh, description. Alright, first off, open export. Um, go to File, open your memory device. Mine in this case is a hard drive, it should work exactly the same for a memory card. Click OK. Your device, partition 3, content, and if you have export, that's completely fine, you just have to know the actual codes I'm going into. Sorry that export is being slow. Alright, find your profile. If you want to know how to do this, please look at a different video on how to find your profile. Alright, go to the third one. Well, I'll go and tell you a brief. Um, to mod or to find your profile, look or click on one of these, and whichever has the most games in it is most likely your profile. All right, go down to well, go to the first one. It'll start with three F's. Go and click on it. This will be your profile. Click on this, and you go ahead and drag your profile out. It'll start with the E. Alright, once your profile is out, you're going to go ahead and open up the program called EasyGT. You may want to run this as administrator, I'm not sure if there's a difference, but go ahead and do that. If you're on XP, don't worry about it. Just make sure you're on a administrator account on XP. Alright, once you're in EasyGT, go ahead and click this button. Click open. And you're going to go to wherever you saved your profile that you extracted from your hard drive. In my case scenario, this would be the desktop. So I click it right there. Alright, here's my gamer tag. So what I'm going to do is delete it or modify it to whatever I want. And to modify it, you're going to go over and click add. Alright, here is all of your colors on the uh fonts and the buttons on the controller. Alright, say I want something random on a Call of Duty. And I want an X at the end, maybe an A at the beginning. And if I want say red, I'll underline L. And I will click the red font. Now this, uh, this signals off codes, not really signals off, but it types in codes, and these codes actually count up for these 16 characters in your gamer tag. So say if you have too many fonts, then you're not going to be able to put a very long gamer tag. But yeah. Alright, once you're done, just go back up here and click save. Now what this will do, is it will designate you or it'll make you designate to a new destination or the same destination uh, to save the new modded profile alright I'm just going to save under my desktop and click OK alright now here's your new profile notice this is an offline profile so yeah Alright, once you're done with that, go and open up Modio. I, once again, I'll have the link in the description. And with a newer version of Modio, go up here and click New Resigner Window. If you have an older version, then you most likely know what to do. Just find New Resigner Window. Alright, once you're in that, click Load File. Alright, once you're in Load File, go to where you... Uh, browse for the offline account that you got from EasyGT. In my case, this would again be the desktop. 
and it will start off with the E four zeros that folder. So you click one, and you keep browsing in for your profile. All right, this little uh, format will be your profile. Double click it. All right, there it is. So I have the picture of the monkey. That will be the offline profile. All right, click rehash and resign. All right, once you click rehash and resign, it will say rehash and resign. Um, once it says Xbox 360 dashboard, that is when you can exile Madia. All right, now you're good. Um, you don't even have to drag your profile back in. But what you have to do is you go back up to content and you drag that offline profile folder, not the not just the file, but the folder into content. Drag it in. Alright, this isn't going to say it for you, but it says it for me because I already have uh, a modded gamer tag on my system. Just don't worry about it. And if you do, just click OK. And it is now extracted back in to your hard drive. Alright, you can go ahead and close export out, and you're practically done, but not completely. Um, what you have to do now to get the actual mod to work and this is a temporary mod once you sign out it will be back um you go to your at spots 360 dashboard with your hard drive in whatever auto signs you into which may be your default account sign out of that and go into the modded go into the modded profile it may have some weird uh characters because you modded it and you put all those fonts and buttons and whatnot in don't worry about that. If you get an error, just click OK. And you will get an avatar select. Just uh, press the guide button and just get all of that. Alright, then you can go and start the game. And once the game started, you're going to go to Xbox Live. And you're going to attempt to go on Xbox Live, but it of course won't let you because it's an offline program. Alright, well since you did that, then it will let you select your online profile and the online profile you'll select is your default profile once you do that once you get into a lobby uh, you will be modded it will have the gamer tag that you chose modded all right thank you for watching once again please check out ultra transfers i will put the link in the description um awesome guy runs the site just yeah, please check it out. Alright, thank you and bye.